Taurus, it's Nicola. So let's see what blessings we have for the week of September the 14th at this point. Okay. Ooh, hey. Y'all love to see Ganesh. Y'all see. You see it. No more obstacles, okay? So the blessings we have are removing obstacles, peace and prosperity, physical and mental powers, and success in initiating new ventures. Oh, crrr. Oh, crrr. I had to put that in there so y'all knew my hands was doing the same thing. You know what I'm saying? All right, so let's see what we have for Taurus. We've been having some bomb-ass readings, y'all. This is for September 14th through the 20th. This is for Taurus. So get out your head. This is for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rise, and the Venus. What messages will guide us you have? This is for September the 14th, September the 15th, September the 16th, September the 17th. September the 18th, September the 19th, September the 20th. This is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. What messages, what guidance do we have? For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. This is for September the 14th through the 20th. A whole new world. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> world card. <laughs> Wheel card. Shit me. A whole new world. Spare fingers. Yeah, I ain't gonna do that because I know that drives people crazy. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? World card here with the Wheel of Fortune. Fortunate. Fortunate completions. Okay? Wheel of Fortune is fortunate changes. So Monday here, we got the Seven of Swords here. Could be some deception, could be some lies, could be some instabilities here. Queen of Swords here, if it is, you're going to find out the truth. Okay, Queen of Swords is about seeing clearly. I feel like y'all got some decisions to make this week. I, I definitely feel like that. Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, that's, that's about making choices, decisions. Um, some choices being made. You're becoming very discerning around some energies. So you could have some unstable energies around you and you're really wanting to put an end to that instability. All right, so we have the Five of Cups here. There could be some regrets, okay? For some of you guys, you could be dealing with challenged emotions, Nine of Swords, anxiety around this, Ace of Pentacles, but I feel like once you make that choice, there's a new opportunity here. Eight of Swords here. Ooh, so we have some good readings. We done had some good readings. And I ain't gonna say that this ain't a good reading. I'm going to tell you what I feel like this is. Uh, you know, you can take it how it resonates. You can take it or leave it. I'm gonna, I ain't going to say that. I feel like some of you guys are dealing with some opposition around you. Some negative influences. Some bullshit around you. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's been some instability because of that. There's a lot of resistance to that. Queen of Swords here. You want truth. You want clarity. You want honesty. You don't want to deal with these challenging information. So for a lot of you guys, you got a new opportunity here. Some of these challenging energies are your own thoughts. And I literally said, get out of your head. Oh, crrr. you're going into a whole new world. Will of Fortune. Do Listen, fortune is on your side, baby. All right. So if you're having anxieties you in your head, fuck all that shit. Fortune is on your side. But I do feel like because you have these fortunate changes that are happening you could have some leeches or you could have some negative energy that is around you conflicting with you causing you to go through these sort of challenges changes eight of swords here i feel like for a lot of you guys you feel like your hands are tied with something you just need to be discerning here so seven of swords here could be some lies why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here we have eight of cups will of fortune so the chain, I feel like for a lot of you guys, there's some instability. I feel like you're going to walk away from that um, strength here. If you're dealing with the Leo, they could be lying to you. I feel like you're going to walk away. You got a new beginning here. I feel like you're confused though. So for some of you guys, and, and they've got the Seven of Cups, Seven of Wands, Seven of Swords. There are some choices here. Fortune is on your side. I feel like you, whatever you do, you're going to make the right decision for your situation. But I do feel like for a lot of you guys, there's some sort of growth that is happening either spiritually, physically, emotionally. There's a growth that is happening. Could be causing instability within your thoughts. Could be causing you to second guess stuff. Um, you could be dealing with someone that is lying to you. And that is the change. You're ready to walk away from a liar for some of you guys. 
or just from an unstable situation. We're going to say a liar. So Queen of Swords here seeing truth, clarity, feeling liberated by truth. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Why is this? I feel like there's an obstacle in your life that's about to be removed. And for some of you guys, you're directly removing this. For others of you guys, especially with what I'm seeing, this could be energy that's happening around you. These could be the changes, the fortunate changes that are happening in order for you to move toward this new type of energy. So we got death here with the Eight of Pentacles. The transformation is someone is no longer investing into a situation. This could be an, an end to a job, Ace of Swords here, um, an end to an investment. Someone's making a decision. Scorpio energy here, Ten of Cups. This is about family. Some of y'all dealing with a family situation that's toxic, and you are about to put an end to that. No more investing. You're no more. You're no longer investing time, money, energy into a situation that is toxic in your life. Okay, so we got the seven of wands here. I do feel like there's a lot of resistance, a lot of standing up for what I believe, a lot of get the fuck out my face, especially coming from Taurus because y'all know how we do. Uh, I know it's some, I ain't gonna say that because I know it's some younger energy Tauruses, and I say younger energy because in our younger energy, we may be more calm, not wanting to create you know any sort of conflict. But once the Taurus matures, it's not about creating conflict, it's about get the fuck out my face with that shit before we have conflict so for a lot of you guys you are in the space of just being resistant to you know bullshit knight of cups here really in the space of standing up for what you believe following your emotions page of pentacles a lot of you guys you're making decisions because you see your worth you see very clearly okay so six of swords here with the three of cups for a lot of you guys you're moving forward here toward your abundance could be toward another person could be not, but there's a movement that's happening. Someone is most definitely following their heart, making clear decisions based off that. There's a resistance, like I'm telling you, to bullshit. So five of cups here, there are some regrets here. Some of you guys could be challenged within your emotions. High priestess here, tower. You could know that a situation is unstable. You could know that you need to focus on releasing something. You could know that all of a sudden here. So emperor here, lovers here. For some of you guys, you could be setting boundaries around a lover, especially if there's more than one person involved. If you feel like if you're in a situation where there's, you know, a lot of people involved, you could be setting boundaries to that. Knight of Swords here, really taking action for a cup because you're unhappy. So someone knows that it's time to release. King of Wands here, Aries energy here could be um, any fire sign. Could be focused on creating stability from an unstable situation, meaning releasing, letting go. There could also be high priestess tower. There could be some sort of revelation that could cause you to focus on, you know, changing how you feel around a situation. All of a sudden, now some of you guys with that tower and five of cups, all of a sudden something could happen that could create some sort of challenge emotions within you. Nine of swords here could be bringing about some anxieties. I told y'all to get out y'all head. So some of y'all are holding back out of anxiety. Conflict here. Some of you guys, I feel like there's some opposing energy to some responsibilities this has to do with responsibilities here this has to do with responsibilities some of you guys either there's some cruelty here you got a lot of anxiety here maybe you're holding back because you don't want to create conflict to some sort of of um responsibility something like this three of swords here five of cups here some of you guys really feel heartbroken heartbroken by a situation you're having anxiety because you're still holding on to some sort of conflict here around either some responsibilities. What day is this? Not for a lot, y'all. I feel like some of y'all could be having some issues with your family this week or with people that you consider family. So we got Ace of Pentacles here. For some of you guys, this could be love, but it seems like there's a lot of there's a lot of mental things and a lot of clashing with energies here. Like someone just needs to speak truth, but mentally they're having some instabilities here. There's some things that are changing. Ace of Pentacles here. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here? Five of Swords here. So some of you guys, you have a new opportunity here. You're being presented with a new opportunity. Virgo energy here, Ace of Wands. You feel conflicted about it. You feel like it's an unwatched choice. There's a lot of confusion around that. So for a lot of you guys, I feel like you're in the space of... <clears throat> you could be dealing with someone that is being manipulative, presenting an opportunity that requires some sort of action. They could be taking action, presenting an opportunity to you. You could be in a space of 
receiving this opportunity but confused as to why the fuck this opportunity is here this makes so much sense to me y'all hold up one second i think what happened is this this is a situation for some of you guys this could be something from your past or like current family situations that bring up anxiety because it does deal with situations that you possibly have moved away from or you're not even concerned with you know investing in but it's creating interferences within your life because you have to face whatever this is now i feel like someone's presenting an opportunity to you and you're you received it but you're not you're confused as to why the fuck it's even being presented so eight of swords here why is this 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 eight of swords here so we got nine of cups here so I feel like for a lot of you guys, you feel like it's time for you to move toward a new opportunity to escape. Some of you guys are dealing with a lot of unstable situations here. A lot of challenges, delays, burdens. You want to put an end to all that shit and you're going to put an end to all that shit. I feel like you can, you could feel as though your hands are tied, divine timing here. But it's time for you to be happy with this new opportunity. For some of you guys, all of these swords, you know, I kept telling you, it's a lot of thoughts, a lot of energies. All of this could be just your energy. You, you're, you fucking with yourself because you're having anxiety about some new things that are starting. I still, with Ganesh here, I still feel like there's whatever obstacles you have are going to be removed. I feel like you just need to get out your damn head. I'm going to be 100% with you. I feel like you need to get out your head. Like whatever, all that ego based shit all that shit over like you have the power to create what it is that you want so do that let's see what messages we have for taurus sun will rise and venus moving forward what messages or guidance do we have for taurus sun will rise and venus moving forward we have house of colors what messages for guidance yeah for some of you guys this has to do with some responsibilities you have or someone may make you feel like you have some responsibilities you don't all right we're going to take these two as well. All right. <clears throat> yeah, this is about your home life. So for some of you guys, you could be moving into a new type of energy. Could be feeling some restriction around that. Could be um, having some sort of conflicts. There's no obstacles here, though. I feel like the, the, the only reason why we're getting these challenges, challenged energy is because you're really... There's a new change that's happening. You're really moving into a new ascension. And it's an ascension of fortune. But you may have some extensions that you're needing to close out. Okay? So let's read what we have for House of Colors. It says, Do you ever feel like you live in between two worlds? In one of them, you are trying to be the best version of you, along with, with all the stress and frustration that comes along. I could be a better parent, a more friendly person. Why do I have these crazy feelings? The list of one's twist, twist can be long. Fortunately, you can travel at any time to another world. I told you you could have a new ascension here where all these worries fade out. It is a world of colors. It is a world where you're able to see the bigger picture and understand that each effort, challenge, and achievement is a part of the universal plan. A plan where all you ever wish for can happen by magic if you decide to go for it. Now you have the choice to see the world in black and white or just bring your own colors and light. So let's see what we have for Flowers of the Soul. This mandala has been created with the energy and colors of the seven crystals related to your seven chakras. It acts as a gateway to access and manifest the deepest of your soul's requests. Becoming more aware of your energy centers can help you align your life and choices to your inner truth and peace. Color therapy is an excellent way to nourish your chakras very simply. Very simply. Place your focus on certain er on a certain area of your body or aspect of your life and find its related chakra point or chakra color. At that point, you can start working with their healing properties consciously by wearing color themed clothes, eating color themed fo foods, or through visualization. The only limit is your imagination. So let's read what we have for Enzi. And I just read this for um, Aries. Enzi, which means sun in Q Quecha is one of the most important gods in the Incan civilization. Master of time, days, and season, Enti is a source of unlimited light and creation. Dive into the colors of this mandala to connect with the Enti's powerful vibration and let it fill your solar plexus. You will open a gateway between yourself and the universe, increasing the frequency of the earth. Breathe. Use its empowered energy to break through the shell and inspire strength and respect around you. Remember that every challenge is an opportunity for you to explore new solutions and become the master of a bright, meaningful journey. It's time to rise and shine. 
So we have um, the sun and the moon. For some of you guys, I'm going to be honest with you, and I feel like this could definitely be happening. For some of you guys, this, 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 you're ascending toward this new thing, but I feel like you could be taking on, especially with sun and moon here, talking about divine and divine, fe divine masculine and divine feminine. If you're going through a lot of, you know, like you can't resonate with the energies that you're feeling, you can't resonate with why you're going through anxieties or in your head, you may be, you know, mirroring someone else's emotions. This could be mirroring someone else's reading because the guidance you have does not reflect what's going on in this reading. But I feel like these energies have to be brought about maybe so that you can see things from a different perspective. All right. But some of you guys, you're definitely, some of you guys are definitely going through this. Okay. And I feel like you just got to get out your head and understand that whatever changes are happening, they're positive. So the sun and the moon, it says the sun and the moon represent the unconditional yet challenged love between masculine and feminine energies. By natural law, the sun can never cross the moon's path to truly embrace her as they both shine above the two kingdoms of the day and night. But somehow the universe has made their union possible and once in a while the entire world can witness their mystical rendezvous in the sky. This card brings you hope and the clear message that every love is possible if you believe in it. Oceans, land, skies, and other dimensions. Love has no boundaries, but the ones of your heart and imagination. All right. So this is all I have. Until next time, Taurus.